We have this image right here. And in this tutorial, we'll be getting rid of all the unwanted skin breakouts and freckles. Start by going over to your right panel and select your spot removal tool. This little panel will appear below with two features, clone and healing brush. For now, we'll be selecting heal in order to get rid of those spots. You get the option of adjusting the size as well as the opacity or transparency of your brush by adjusting these sliders. You can also adjust the size of your brush by using the left bracket key to decrease the size or the right bracket key to increase the size of your brush. So let's start by first going to our navigator and let's zoom in. You can press fill or a ratio of one to one and let's start healing those areas. Now, if you notice, once you click, you have the option of selecting the region you want your spot to be replaced by. Something like this. So you just nicely go ahead and select the areas. You can always press enter and changes take place. Decrease the size of your brush. Just make sure you're aligning it to the right area so that you don't lose much of the skin texture. And you could reduce the opacity of that click enter. You can click that again to adjust the opacity as well. Click enter and it's nice. Increase the opacity here. All right. And then you hold down spacebar to pan and move down. I'll decrease my brush size. All right, somewhere around here. and you're getting rid of all of these spots. Just make sure they're all in the right area. Just drag that up a bit because it's way too low. I don't want to lose my texture around here. All right. Somewhere around here. Reduce the opacity a bit. All right, just to make sure that you haven't lost much of the skin texture. And note the change is already taking place.
increase the opacity. You can click and edit that. Increase the opacity here a bit. All right, just nice and clear. Decrease your brush size. So let's hold down enter. So we can just have an overview of everything we have done. And let's just click close. And there you go. You can always go back and adjust some of these. All right. Perfect. So now you can even delete any of those by going back and hitting delete. Or you can just leave it the way it is if you're happy with your results. Truly amazing. In the next tutorial, we'll be smoothing out the skin so you can see less of these fine lines and those little bumpy textures. So, watch that.